Puck B has three times, thrice, the mass of Puck A, starting from rest. Both pucks are pulled the same distance across frictionless ice by strings with the same tension, meaning that the same force is applied. So, uh, mass B equals three mass A's. So this is going to be a conservation of energy. So I'm going to write up energy conservation, energy kinetic initial plus energy potential initial uh, equals energy kinetic final plus energy potential final. And then I'm going to add in on the left side here work because we're going to add some work to it by having a tension, which is a force, across a distance, we'll call it distance D. So looking at this, so we draw a picture, puck, being pulled that way. So this will be force, which is the same as tension. So we'll use tension just because that's what they call it. And this is a puck. And we want to know the final, final speeds, V final. So they start from rest, so its initial kinetic energy is zero. They don't mention the puck moving up or down, so those are either going to be zero or they're just going to be the same. Either way, they will cancel. So work equals... Um, so they have the same tension, but we don't know if it's a constant tension. So we're just going to say that work is W, some value, and that's going to equal kinetic energy final, which is going to be 1 half mv final squared. So solving this for v final, we're going to say that v final squared equals 2 work over m. And then if I get rid of the squared, I am basically going to get rid of that using a square root. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this in terms of A and B. So I'm going to write this out, but this is going to be in terms of B. So velocity final equals, or velocity final B equals 2 times work, which is going to be the same for both of them. And it's the same for both of them because work equals integral F uh, dx. force dot product dx and since it has the same distance and the same tension it just means that they're both going to be the same. So same force, same distance or same displacement means you're going to have the same work. So that's why I've always that's why I said the work was the same for both of these. Over mass b square rooted and that's going to equal 2w over 3 mass a square rooted to factor out the um, uh, 3 on the bottom is going to be 1 over square root of 3 times the square root of 2w over mass a. So if we rewrite this as if we look at v final of a, that's going to be 2w over mass a square rooted. We can look at these two and see that, oh, these are, this is the same as that. So v final b equals 1 over square root of 3 v final a. So V final A, which is say is VA, V final A equals square root of three times V final B. There we go. And I just rearranged that. So coming back up here, V final A is going to be square root of three final velocity b. 
So to kind of take a look back at what we did here, uh, we had two pucks. One was three times the mass of the other one. They said that they were pulled the same distance across frictionless ice. We look at this as conservation of energy. And we said that since the left side and right side aren't equal, the difference between them is the work added. That work added was going to be work times the integral of f dx, which is the force, which is the tension, and distance, which is the dx. Those are the same for both pucks. Therefore, the work is going to be the same for both pucks. And so work, which is uh, integral of f dx, is one half mass times velocity final squared, and that's going to be true for both pucks. We then wrote that out for both pucks, v final b, v final a, after we solve for velocity final. And after doing some math and rearranging, we found we were able to write v final b in terms of v final a. Do some math, and we find that the v final a is square root of 3 times the velocity final of B. And that's what we chose for the answer. So I hope that helped. See you on the next one.